Hey, what's up, everybody? Jeff from Sons and Shadows. Got a fun little video I was going to do here. I'm a little late to the Berserk party as far as the announcement goes. Apparently on January 8th, Discotech Media announced that they were putting out the classic 1997 anime on a Blu-ray format, which is getting a nice bit of a upscale and new transfer. And I'm pretty excited about what we're going to be getting. And I just wanted to get into a little bit of a little backstory super quick. I'm a huge Berserk fan. It's actually the very one of the very first four anime TV series I got into when I was first getting into anime. Back around 2000-ish, I had a friend. Um, I got in through Vampire Hunter D and Ninja Scroll. And I was a little bit more into like the movie features. I didn't really know too much about the TV series, but I met a, a pretty cool friend at Kevin at a place I was working at at Office Max years ago. And he introduced me to Trigon, Berserk, Blue Gender, and the it just clicked with me. Like these are and these are some of my favorite TV shows. He even got me into like say Helsing. And ever since then, I've been a huge fan. I have the original Box of War set over here. I just wanted to kind of show off. I've had this for years. I love this thing. I know the subtitles aren't great. But what I loved the most about these is all the red cases that everything came, came in. And the Media Blaster set, which was this nice fold-out box. And hopefully nothing in there I could get me dinged on YouTube. I highly doubt it. But this is a, a pride and joy of my collection. I have like the original manga run. I also have a couple of the mini statues. Hell, I even have a little bit of a decal around here that's supposed to go on my car. You know, years later, I picked up like the, the Viz Media Blu-rays, the, the CGI films. I know, I know the CGI is not fantastic. It's not great, but I still really like the story. I like the score and the music in these. It's fantastic. And I also have the newer show up here that came out from Funimation. Again, I know CGI, but this was adapting the later story arcs, which I very much appreciated. But I just wanted to kind of, you know, give a little backstory to uh, my love for Berserk. And it even flows into, you know, the more modern ones, which I, like I said, I understand animation is not great. The CGI is very clunky, but I love the story so much. And I really liked, you know, basically the narrative and the voice acting, just everything around that just felt like it was missing the boat. And I have the original manga run at my dad's on storage, but I also have the hardbacks I've been collecting for a little while. So just uh, getting a little eager to now rip into reading the hardback editions. It's very exciting, this news. I just heard about this the other day. I caught like a Twitter post on from Discotech Media, and I really thought it was pretty interesting. I saw like the cover art, and I'm like, what the hell? I didn't realize that this was going to be getting a... Uh, like a new transfer and they're working on subtitles and everything. And I'll just go, I'll go ahead and I'll show the cover art on this. And uh, like, look at that. That's very beautiful. Like I love the design. My one request is I hope that they put the episodes in a red case. I know it's goofy, but like it would keep with the theme. You saw my Viz Medias. Those came in blue cases. I put those in red cases because of the theme with the ballet and everything else. So it's pretty exciting. I love the sketch art on this cover. It's outstanding. And then we got some new information about that and they announced through discotech media on their twitter that they got some good extras going on here's the big list i'll zoom in for everybody to take a look because if you're not on twitter you might not know about some of this information you might be finding it out some second hand through other places but i thought i'd just throw together a little video for everybody so you can see what's going on we got a special episode r o or zero a vintage collection of extras interspliced with show footage. 
Avant title clean opening. I'm hoping that clean opening is a HD one. I saw a reference um, either on Twitter or on Facebook or some page where somebody had said, we've never seen an HD version of that opening. So that would be very interesting. Then uh, they got the tell me why full version, wait so long, uh, the music of the show, a clean ending. You got a music video for Berserk Forces by Satoshi Kon. Uh, what the fuck? Yes, please. I want to see that. <laughs> then there's a promo. And then we got some more. They announced more extras with the clean opening and encore version. They got some interviews with the producers and a creator. They got some storyboards, paint of berserk, some dub outtakes, a Blu-ray trailer. And then just to follow it up, most recently was this Twitter or Twitter post or X post, whatever you want to call it. I call it Twix. So if you catch videos from me in the future and you hear me saying Twix, it's because I won't call it X. I still know it as Twitter. Twix. But anyways, a few people wondered how the opening text for Berserk on Blu-ray would look compared to prior English releases. Not the same screen, but just a preview. So that's what we're looking at instead of the red jumbled mess, um, which I never, it never really bothered me. It was just very awkward. But it's really good to see the work that's going in on this. I'm really hopeful for the transfer that we're going to be getting. Like I said, I just hope that we get, you know, a really solid release, nice slip cover, embossing, no embossing, does not matter. I would be personally voting for a red case for the for that home media. And beyond that, hey, it sounds like we're getting the original uh, dub on this. The subtitles have been fixed and worked on. There's other information we've heard, which is a much improvement over the original DVD release I just showed you. Years later, uh, Media Blasters, Anime Works, they put out a more updated version. However, the subtitles are still not correct. And in my opinion, the, uh, the picture on that was not really that great. So this is a very welcome addition to Blu-ray Media for everybody who's a fan of Berserk. This is the show you want to watch. Yes, did some adjustments. They There were certain characters that were not in it. But for what they did and what they showed on screen, it gives you the scope and it gives you the heart of the story. It very maintains the spirit of the original manga. And there's a lot of love from a lot of different people. And we'd love to see more of this kind of anime continued. We'd love to, if this was lightning in a bottle for me and for a lot of people. This particular anime is very deserving of this release. It should have had a longer run. It does end on a cliffhanger. No, I am not going to spoil it. You are welcome. But I will say it's one hell of a show. It's a fantasy epic and it rivals Game of Thrones in my opinion. And I mean the book series. I don't mean the TV show with how that ended. I would say Berserk is one of the finest anime to come out of Japan. Very exciting news. And I hope you find it exciting as well. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. If you like this video, we're going to do some more of these. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Comment down below. Do you have any favorite characters? Very th any favorite thoughts? anything about berserk i'd love to hear it and please subscribe we got more video content on the way we'd love to have you along for the ride thank you for tuning in we'll see you next time